it's pretty clear <clears throat> that your Tourette's is gone. And the sleep studies and things like that would indicate that. Um, you know, of course, the question is, how much did we participate in that? It can go everything from whether you take an ESP or not, because there's a percentage of people, I think you said it's 50% is a, a they, round figure, that where the Tourette subsides and goes away. And maybe it was your time. And that was, and that's a very real, real possibility. <clears throat> Again, it's nice if we can help people that way, if we can assist people with their lives and that makes their life better. But really, whether your Tourette's went away or not, if your main goal was to feel more joy and enjoy existence, someone with Tourette's and someone with sweaty palm syndrome or whatever it is, someone who blushes a lot, someone who, <clears throat> I don't know, a bunch of other things that are of the body, so what? If they feel more joy and they're more accepting of themselves and it's not something that, if you will, it's not like going out and being violent or something like that, that's what's important. So, you know, the original, even in what you're saying, well, what did we participate? And that's, I think, <clears throat> what was the thought, the genesis of the whole Tourette study was the thought that, well, maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Let's investigate the question. And still, with, with what has been done up till now with uh, the Tourette's thing, Literally, I think it's deepened the question. Mm. The question is, you know, of course, do we assist? And how do we assist? You know, people would say that the results we've brought, brought it to scientists. You've brought, brought it to scientists where they say, your results are too good. I don't believe your results can ever be too good. Your results are your results. Your understanding of the results is a different story. I, yeah. I don't see our results as too good. I see our results as interesting. I see our results as promising. I see that in the worst case, we have an interesting way of selecting people who are going to, within a very short time period, overcome their Tourette's, whether it's from us or not. But we get to observe it. We get to measure it. We have all these measurements that we're doing, scientific measurements, uh, you know, the EEG, the sleep studies, all of these different things as they go through this process, and sometimes even in a matter of hours, all of that thing. So did, were we good at you know, selecting them? Or was it a certain small percentage of the Tourette's population that we select that are ripe for this sort of intervention? We don't even know. We do know that somehow the people that get through the gate our demographic of people that actually take our treatment, the results, the observed changes in their Tourette's are great. Do we know what the exact cause of that is? Not yet. It's, it's a question for study. Hmm. I think what we have now is enough data, enough, enough of the raised question to warrant more study. <clears throat> but the thing that's great is in the process of getting to that question. There have been now eight people whose lives are measurably better, that they feel better with their lives, and this Tourette syndrome has changed for the positive as far as all of them are concerned, I think. I would agree too.